somebody who did want to work there, but maybe got himself a little heat. Our mutual friend, Mr. Jeremy Borash. The torch had this to say. Borash has locker room heat. That stems from comments he made on a July 30th radio interview. During the interview with Coco Sports, Borash was asked about Florida independent manager Ron Namey, screwed that name up, recently commenting that the Shane twins were used incorrectly by TNA. Borash responded by saying he'd never heard of them or the Shane twins before he started working for TNA. Quote, if I'm working the independents for $50 a night and I get a call to be on worldwide television, I don't give a crap what you're going to do to me. Just put me on. I moved to Atlanta for free to come work for WCW because I wanted to be around there and be in that environment. I was working as a ring announcer for $20 for four years. It's all about opportunity. That's what this business is. And that's all we can offer people. And if you don't like the gimmick, you don't like the role you're given, then please get the hell out of our way because we don't have time for it. Several wrestlers took Borash's comments as him putting himself over for quote unquote, paying his dues in the wrestling business. The wrestlers most offended by the comments insist that Borash, because he's never stepped foot in a wrestling ring, has not paid his dues relative to the indie wrestlers he's critical of. Also, he's been in the business for a relatively short period of time. At least one wrestler was boasting to friends that he planned to call Borash on his comments in front of the other wrestlers on the August 7th TNA event. One TNA official defended Borash saying, quote, if Borash has heat, it's unfair because he works very hard and is very easy to deal with. They don't understand how hard he works. Well, listen, we all know to this day, Borash is a hard worker. Maybe not the best look for JB here. Is this just him being a young cat and maybe not showing the maturity in the business or was he spot on? What say you, I, you know, again, we're, we're, we are going back to internet chatter. So you kind of, kind of. As we've learned, or as folks learn, consider the source. And I'm not yes. talking about JB or Ron Nemi. Who did the interviewing? Leading the witness. Yes. Hey, Ron, can you believe Jeremy said X, Y, Z? Hey, JB, can you believe that Ron Nemi? It, it's just, it's internet chatter. It, it's a bunch of BS. I do know firsthand account that Jeremy's mindset was just that. If you don't want to be here, go. It's yeah. okay. If you are going to be here, let's roll up our sleeves and go to work. Jeremy's never, ever been afraid to work hard and long hours and wear multiple hats. And that is the kind of people that often get criticized, but you always look around and say, oh, yeah, he's working for this guy. Or, oh, yeah, he's working for this guy. Oh, oh, he's doing this. Oh, he's got this skill set. Well, I didn't know he could do that. No, he couldn't do it five years ago, but he learned the skill. It's th those things. So I never took any of that BS to heart. Never.